Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 21 in Azure Data Factory Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to sort an array with the help of SQL table using Azure Data Factory pipelines. So let's see the requirement in details. So this is the same requirement that we had achieved in the previous video that is in part 20 of this playlist where we wanted to sort the array. For example, if you see this input array, so the first one is having numbers as 3, 2, 1, 4 and we want to sort it in the ascending order as 1, 2, 3, 4. And similarly, if we have some string elements, for example, D, B, A, C, we want it to be sorted in ascending order as A, B, C, D according to the alphabets in English characters. Okay. So in the previous video, we had achieved this requirement by creating an ADF pipeline. Let me show you that. So this is the pipeline that we had created. Okay, so this is a little complex pipeline we had created in the previous video. You can go through that video as well. But we will try to achieve the same thing in this video with the help of SQL table, which will actually do our job easy. So if you don't want to go through these many steps in the pipeline and if you want to have the simple pipeline and if there is no restriction to use a SQL table in uh, your requirement, then you can try this alternate approach that I'm going to show you. So let me create a new pipeline here. And here, as I said, we will try to achieve the same thing that we have done in previous video, that is to sort the array elements in ascending order. And the only prerequisite that you need to have is you need to have a SQL server provisioned and you need to have a SQL table. So we will create the table. So let me first create a table. So let me name it as sort array. And in this table, let me have one column. That column name will be number. Okay. And let me give the data type as int. So let me hit on F5. And the table got created. So right now, this table does not hold anything. Let me just run a simple select query from the table. Sort array. So you can see this table is empty. It is only having one column that is named as number. Okay. So we will try to use this table in order to perform sorting in the array. Okay. So to hold the input array, let me declare a pipeline parameter named as input array. And let me give the data type as array here. And let me set a default value. Let me go to the presentation and let me set the same value that we have in the example 3214. Okay. Let me zoom in a little bit and here let me give 3, 2, 1, 4. So what we will do is we will use this pipeline parameter that is the array to iterate through the elements of this array. Okay. So how do we iterate? We simply need to use for each activity. So let me drag a for each activity in the pipeline canvas and let me minimize this first. And here, as I said, we are going to iterate through the items of the array present in this input array, which is declared as the pipeline parameter. So here in the items section, we just need to select this pipeline parameter. Okay. And it will auto generate this expression that is pointing to the input array. And here we don't need to bother about any other settings. Let me go inside this for each activity. And here we will use a lookup activity. Okay. So here, instead of lookup, you can also use script activity or you can also write a stored procedure and use a stored procedure activity to run the SQL queries. So here, I'm going to remove this first row only option and in the source data set, let me select a data set that is pointing to my SQL server. Okay. So if I open this here, we have the linked service that is pointing to my uh, SQL server. Okay. So as you can see, this is the same database as I have shown in the SSMS. Okay. So you can see Anno Azure SQL DB. So it's pointing to some table, but don't worry about it because we are not going to use this table option. Instead, we are going to use this query option. So here, whatever query we will write, it will run the same query in our database. Okay. So before writing this query, let me just quickly tell you what our exact approach is and what we are trying to do. Okay. So currently our array is suppose three, four, two, one. Okay. And what we are doing is we are iterating through each of these uh, elements of the array by using for each activity, right? So we are using for each activity 
and inside this for each we are using lookup activity now using this lookup activity what we will do is in our sql table we will try to insert each of these elements one by one okay so suppose in the first iteration this element is coming into this uh, for each okay so first element that is 3 will be getting inserted into the sql table now in the second iteration 4 is fetched by the for each activity so inside for each item will be nothing but 4 so we will try to insert this item into the table so 4 will be inserted similarly after that 2 will be inserted after that 1 will be inserted okay and the sequence of insertion of these elements into the table doesn't matter that's why i have not given this sequential option as true okay in the for each so it is not true so even in parallel if it is trying to insert uh, different elements at the same time then it doesn't matter because what we will do is outside this for each we will have another lookup so it is this lookup is inside for each but outside this for each we will have another lookup what it, it will do is there we will use order by clause in the select query okay so as we know order by helps us to get the elements in sorted order okay so we will get one two three four as the output okay and we will simply convert it to the array format okay so this is our approach let me try to implement the same thing so inside this for each we have added this lookup so here let me write down an insert query that will be responsible to insert each of the items of the of the array into the sql table one by one okay so let me simply write insert into sort array this is the table name then values and inside this let me give single quotes and here let me write down at the rate then these brackets for a string interpolation and here let me select this item okay so we are good it will pick up each of the items one by one in each of the iterations and it will try to insert into the sort array table and here one important thing is that whenever you are writing a query in lookup activity it should always return some data because lookup is meant to return some data okay and since insert doesn't give any output we just need to write a select query okay so i'm writing a dummy select query suppose select one as output okay our main motto is to run this query in the table but i am writing this select dummy query so that this lookup won't fail okay so we are good let me click on okay and let me try to debug the pipeline till this point and let's see if it is able to insert each of these array elements into the table or not so the pipeline has started running and you can see multiple lookups are running at the same time and if i click on the input you can see insert into sort arrays value one okay so it is picking up this item one by one okay and it has succeeded already let me go to the sql server and here let me run select query so you can see all the numbers have been inserted into the table now as we discussed we need to use another lookup activity outside this for each in order to run the select statement with the help of order by clause okay so let me drag this lookup again and again the data set will be pointing to sql's table and let me remove first row and here i will just write down a select statement select star from sort array this is the table name order by numbers right let me recheck number this is the column name so if you want to sort it by ascending order you don't need to give any uh, suffix but if you want to sort by descending order, you need to give this DESC as a suffix, okay. In our case, we need the ascending order uh, output data as you can see in the presentation. So I'm leaving it as it is and we don't need any other dummy query because here we are using select statement. So lookup will return some output, okay. So now if we debug the pipeline, we are expecting that lookup to output will give us sorted array in return, okay. But before executing the pipeline, let me try to clear this table because it will reinsert these values again if we run the pipeline. Okay, so let me write down truncate table statement sort array and let me run this. We will try to incorporate this truncate table in the pipeline itself. Let me see. Okay, so now the table is empty and let me hit on debug. 
so lookup one is in progress so now each elements will be inserted so that is done and lookup two will give us the output that is uh, in sorted order okay so let's see so you can see so if you see the output it is sorted and we are getting one two three four okay which is expected but we don't want all these unnecessary values we just want the output to look like this okay so we want it to be coming in the array format not as the json format okay so what we can do is let me copy one of the json and let me keep it in a notepad let me paste it here and now let me create a variable here and we will name it as sorted array okay this will hold the final array okay so i am giving the data type as array and here let me select a set variable activity this will just format the output okay so let me select this sorted array and we just need to remove the unnecessary values so let me copy this number colon and we will use a function that will replace all these unnecessary value with the blank string okay so we have a function called replace function so it will simply replace the string by the given string so we will use this function on top of lookup2 output okay so let me go here and here we have lookup2 value array so let me select this and if you clearly see this lookup2 output this value is actually an array okay so we need to convert it to string because replace function will always work on top of string value okay so let me convert it to string by using string function and after this we need to provide two things what we need to replace and by what value we need to replace okay so what exactly we need to replace is we need to replace this value by blank string okay and we also want to remove these unnecessary brackets okay so for that as well let me use replace function and we need to remove open bracket by blank string i'm replacing as well as we need to replace the closing bracket okay so here let me add that and i'm replacing it with blank string and if you see this string doesn't match the field value why because we are specifying the uh, data type of this sorted array as array but this will give us string as the output okay so in order to convert it to uh, array format let me use this function that is json so in order to parse it correctly let me use json function okay so we have already used this function in previous video as well so let me use this function so this will convert the string into proper desired format either it can be object that is json format or it can be an array okay so we are good let me click on okay so now let me hit on debug but before that let me truncate the table again so now there is nothing in the table so we are good to run the pipeline so let's wait so it's reinserting the data let me check the content of the table yeah or uh, data is reinserted let's wait so set variable activity is running yeah so the pipeline execution is finished let's check the output of set variable so you can see now it is giving the output as a proper array as we had desired in the presentation you can see this is what our expected output was okay and uh, if you see the previous output lookup output we were getting that sorted array but it was uh, coming as a json okay. each of the numbers were coming in the json okay so we just formatted it using this set variable activity and we got the output in the desired format so I want to run the same pipeline to sort string uh, elements of the array as well. Uh, but before that, let me make this generic. Uh, else we have to truncate the table again and again. So what we need to do is, let me use another lookup activity. So here in the very first activity, before performing any other actions, what we will do is, we will try to drop the table if the table exists and we will try to recreate the table if the table does not exist so first we need to drop the table and then we need to create the table here itself okay so 
so how it will help is suppose in the sql server this table itself is not present then in order to run this pipeline you need to first create the table so you need to manually go inside the sql server and you need to uh, run this create table script right so uh, if we incorporate the changes in this pipeline itself you don't even need to open the sql server everything will be performed in the adf itself okay so let me remove this so first we need to write down the drop table statement if the table exists okay so to check if the table exists or not here we have the query if object id of this table here we need to provide the table name in the single quotes so the table name is sort array if object id of this table is not null that means if the table exists then then simply drop table table name that is sort array okay and now i am going to separate the other statement with the help of semicolon so if the table exists then it will simply drop the table and then we need to recreate the table with the help of create table statement so here again we need to check if object id of this table sort array okay so this time we have to check if it is null then create table okay create table sort array and we need to give the uh, table structure so the name of the column is number and the data type is int so this is what we want okay so here it will simply drop the table and recreate the table okay so we don't need to truncate the table again and again okay and here again we need to uh, keep in mind that we are running this query on top of lookup activity which is supposed to return some uh, result okay so here let me give select statement that will be a dummy select statement select one as output you can give anything it just needs a select query okay so we are done so now we have made this pipeline dynamic that means uh, we can run this for any array and it we are expecting that it will sort this array okay so we don't need to manually go and truncate the table again and again okay let me remove all this and this time i will run the pipeline for uh, the other array that is dbac okay so let me provide that let me give d in quotes b a comma c yeah so done let me click on okay so first of all it will check if this table exists then it will drop it and then it will recreate the table okay so currently lookup is running let's check so you can see it has recreated the table it is not exactly truncating the table it is uh, dropping and recreating the table so that's why you are seeing that it is null okay so now here it has failed because uh, you can see the data type is actually mismatching here actually we have created the table uh, where the column data type is int okay so we need to give it as varchar so that it can also accommodate uh, string data type in the um, array okay so right now we have we were running it for this array th that is having string elements okay so that's the reason it is not able to insert string elements into integer data type of uh, column okay so let me debug again let me provide the array again that is d b a c let me hit on okay so let's wait now so this time we are expecting lookup one will not fail so it has started inserting the data let's check yeah so you can see data is inserted so don't worry about the sequence of the data because we have not made this for each as sequential so it can go in any sequence so don't worry about that now lookup will give you the sorted array so you can see a b c d this is coming fine and, and this set variable will give you the proper format okay so it is giving a b c d in the string uh, as the output okay so this is what we were expecting so i hope you got an idea how to perform sorting of an array elements with the help of sql table using azure data factory pipelines so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the content please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you